All right, guys. So today we are on Fire Force Online, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a part one progression series for the Fire Force side, not the white clad side, because my main is already a white clad. And the reason I didn't make this video sooner or like yesterday was because I wanted to play the game first and experience it before I made a video. But now that I sort of know some of the things in the game, okay, hold up, we're getting boxed up. Yeah, you want to smoke? Oh shoot! Count him. Heavy attack. We're going crazy. Oh my god. Heavy attack again. Oh, he counted it. Okay. We're going to heavy attack him. Oh, guard break him. Okay. And he's knocked, bro. What? He said, I got dogged. I know. But anyways, we're not going to grip him because we do want to stay on the good side. Because if you grip civilians, you will get negative reputation. So... We do want to stay on the good reputation and that is actually the first step on how you become a member of the fire force now if you guys haven't played this game before they added codes yesterday so the first thing you want to do is actually redeem the codes so just go into settings here and i'll, I'll put up all the codes on the screen for you guys so the first two codes in the game were sorry for bugs which i already used colors for you uh, two color hair rerolls two eye color rerolls and they added two new codes today actually that at 10k likes and 15k likes the first thing you want to do when you spawn in is to talk to Thales as it says which will start your quest and the first thing you want to do in this game is to choose whether you want to be a good guy or a bad guy which is obviously the fire force or the white clad now there isn't like a side that is better than the other because they both have the same abilities it's just uh, a matter of preference Police station, yep. So just keep doing these quests and at a certain point, after you finish this good quest and then a bad quest, you'll be able to choose whether you want to be on the good side or bad side through your reputation. So Officer Jones looking for a job. All right, so just help him out here. Okay, yeah, we got janitor duty. But um, if you guys are questioning like, how do you find out what generation you are? That'll come later when you reach rank 5, you'll actually get your powers. And currently there's generation 1, 2, and 3. 1 having no fire powers at all and you just use basic weapons. Which honestly is not that bad and I heard that they're getting an update soon. Generation 2, you get powers in your weapon. So for example, you get a gun that uses like fire powers but you have to get fuel to like charge your power. And generation 3, you don't need fuel, you just have this one bar here to make sure you don't overheat. So in my opinion, and the majority of people's opinions, Generation 3 is the strongest right now, and everybody wants Generation 3 because when they get 1 or 2, usually they use the codes and reroll off of it. So hopefully we spawn in with Generation 3. But yeah, let's check some stuff real quick, hair color rates. Honestly, we have a random hair color, which isn't black, brown, blonde, or white, which is a 5%, so I'm just going to keep this green hair actually. We're going to reroll our eye color though because it doesn't really match with our hair. So let's use it. Hopefully we get a green one. Oh my goodness. Speak of the devil. I literally said hope we get a green one and boom. We got a green eye color. So nice. We got matching hair and eyes. Alright. And later on we have two gen rerolls and true ability rerolls. So if we don't get the good gen we want, we can just reroll it. So now we have to return back to Thales. By the way, this NPC here later on is going to tell us whether we have a generational power. See, like if you talk to him right now, only a few have capabilities. We need to get stronger and fight other strong people. So basically what this means is we have to hit, I'm pretty sure it's rank 5, and then you just fight people and you will unlock your powers. Next, we're doing a bad quest, which is to talk to this crook here. So just follow the marker. What the heck is going on here? There's an inferno. Yeah, but oh my goodness, why are there so many thugs here fighting the Infernal? Alright, and by the way, if you run for like 5 seconds, you'll start sprinting super fast, but this only works if you are out of combat. So, let's talk to the crook here. Oh my, what do you want kid? I need to make money, except, alright, let's just do this quest here. So, a strange man has asked you to steal this target's wallet. So these are just easy quests at the start. Now we have to go to the red marker here, and steal the dude's wallet. If you wanted to become... A white clad just keep accepting quests from this crook that we just accepted a quest from and also just group random civilians let's just steal their wallet all right now we have to bring the wallet back to the crook there we go and we ranked up that's great so now we're going to go back to Thales which is at that white marker 
And actually, let's check our skill tree real quick. We are ranked two and we have two skill points. So as you can see, there's many different branches. Just read all of them. There's no like best branch or anything. You just pick whatever stats you want according to what build you want. All right, here we go. Here's Thales. Did you check it out? Yeah, the guy was scary. Tons of scary people. And we ranked up again. See, it is so easy to rank up. Like from one to five, I'm pretty sure it's very easy. So let's talk to this guy here. What am I going to do? What happened? All right. Okay, so here's the thing. So these random missions that pop out, which are red, they're actually missions where you can choose to do the good thing or the bad thing. So over here, as you see, these supplies have dynamite in it. If you get that box and bring it back to him, you'll get negative rep because it'll explode and cause him to die. So you actually want to get this other box if you want to do good. So you get this box instead and you give it to him. You will not be getting negative reputation from this one. And we're going to be farming some good XP until we get respect the civilian, I'm pretty sure. So give it back to him. No problem, Pedro. Once we actually get the respected civilian title, we'll be able to talk to Xavier here and become a member of the Fire Force. So let's keep doing some quests and hopefully we will get respected civilian soon. Okay, so right here, this old man is going to start dying and we need to choose whether to steal his wallet or not while he's dying. So to steal the old man's money? No. We got to take him to the hospital. And it seems like the hospital is over there. I've never actually done the good side of this quest because I was in the white clad before. So I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to do it though. You bring him to the hospital here. Nice. Mission complete. These missions aren't really that hard. As you level up more though, it'll take more and more missions to rank up. My main account is currently rank 19. Let's accept this quest. Find a cat. Okay. The thing about this quest is you have to look around everywhere. Oh wait, is that it right there? Oh, return the cat back to the police station or question mark. So we have to go find the police station. All right, here's the police station right here. And another random mission just popped up, which we're going to be doing in a sec. Oh, turning cat. There we go. Nice. And we ranked up again. So we are rank four now and one more rank and we'll be able to discover what our generation is and what powers we have. All right, and we ranked up. Let's go. So now we are rank five and we are respected civilians. So we can actually talk to Xavier and become an official member of the fire force. But first, let's see if we can get our ability now. Sense potentially. Need okay, we have to actually just fight people. I'm pretty sure that's how you get it. We just fight people. So let me go beat up this civilian here. Okay, yep, there we go. You feel something strange overcome your body. So, yep. That's really how it works. You get to rank five, you start beating people up. Your heart is burning brighter than ever. Oh my goodness, guys. Wait, that dialogue means that we are a generation three. Wait, we actually got lucky with this one. I mean, I'm pretty sure gen one, two, and three have the same chances of getting, I think. I'm not sure, but we got gen three. Let's check the skill tree. Yep, generation three. And we got palm explosion. You know what? We're just gonna reroll just for the content. So let's use a true ability reroll. And, alright, let's see what we got. So, let's check our skill tree. Oh, we got, okay, so we got the giant hands. Actually, that's not bad at all. Actually, I want something else, so I'm just going to use another ability reroll. Alright, let's see what we got. Violet, Flash, Azure Rush. Oh, we got Excalibur. Nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's in our inventory, yep. So, we did end up getting Excalibur, which is like just a lightsaber, but... This is hella cool. And the heavy attack is like longer range than usual. So now we're gonna go and try out to be a member of the Fire Force. How do I apply? Sure. All right. Okay, do we have to go to the, I guess we have to go to the Fire Force um, HQ, which is in that direction. So let's just head towards the Fire Force HQ. All right, as you can see, here it is. Once you see this path, you are on the way to the Fire Force HQ. All right, here we are. Examiner, if you're looking for, if you're looking for where to join the Fire Force, you're in the right place. Yes, please. 
Now we did server hop because the last server I was in was kind of laggy. But my friend told me that there's three stages to this exam. Yep, all right, we're queued in. So there's three stages to the exam. The first one is to remember what he tells you at the beginning, because he like questions you about it. The second part is to find these fruits that are within the camp that he teleports you to. And the third one is to fight an inferno. So usually there'll be two people queuing at the same time, but it looks like it's just me this time. All right. I'll be the one testing you a lot today. Tuesday is his favorite day of the week. Love going on quick runs around town. Uh, running, I'm pretty sure he said something about running. Jogs. Uh, oh shoot, jogging or running? I'm pretty sure he said running. Okay, nice. Whew. Yeah, okay. I was like confused between whether he said jogging or running, but I remember he said running. Alright, next we have to find these fruits that he puts on the table. Alright, what is that? Strawberry, grape, orange. Strawberry, grape, orange. Oh, is that a strawberry? Nice. Strawberry, grape, orange. Is that an orange? Nice orange. Now we just have to find grapes. Oh, they're right here. There we go. Now we just go to the table. Doesn't matter what order you turn them in. Just go next to him and click on the fruits. There we go. Congrats on completing the task. All right, now you have to 1v1 an Infernal. And after this, you'll become an official member of the Fire Force. All right, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to fight an Infernal right now. So. So the first thing we're going to do when he spawns, he's probably going to do the fire attack first. So you want to hold F until he starts doing it. And then you can parry it by clicking. Ready? Okay, you didn't do it. He didn't do it right now. You can get a few hits and dash the slash. He's going to do a fire attack again. Parry that. You can get like 3M1s in. Stomp. Dodge that. 3M1s in. Hold F again. Fire attack. Alright, it didn't let us parry it. Dodge the slash. Nice. Gonna do fire attack again. It's very repetitive. After you parry him, you can get like three slashes and dodge the kick. I mean stomp. Fire attack again. Okay, we didn't dodge that, but okay. That will happen if you don't dodge. So he's gonna do a fire attack. Parried. The yeah, M1's in. Dodge the kick. Okay, we didn't dodge it. Fire attack. Nice. Dodge this. Nice. Carry this. Nice. Okay, when he kneels, that means he's low. Just keep slashing him and he should die. Nice. We got an Inferno Core from that as well. So once you become an official member of the Fire Force, you will unlock the ability to use your phone to accept quests from there now. So now we are a rookie Fire Force member. We have five skill points as well. So I forgot to put in our skill points. All right, I'm gonna go on with strength and this first. All right, we're gonna go with that for now. And that actually is going to be the first part of our Fire Force progression. This is gonna be a multiple part series if it does well. So this is just part one. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for part two. Uh, let's get this video to 9 million likes and make sure to join the Discord server down below. And yeah, peace.